you may already know the default poor performance that the physics in good oats usually have that's why there have been multiple alternative physics engines out there being rapier one of the main options to consider today we are going to be comparing both and coming to a conclusion let's get started first of all i will do a super super quick uh, project overview so this is basically the the game that we're going to be using as an example it contains the main scene with a script that is well i think it is it contains the best uh, optimized um code because basically what we we have a timer and when the time is out we create a variable that is uh, written like this so that we have the best performance as possible and then we directly assign a, a random position using some markers that i will show you in a second and after that it is add as a child okay so super simple super straightforward and i and i think that this is the 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 most performant code that we could achieve in gd script by the way i tested it with I, other type of code that maybe weren't optimized for example the line wasn't like this uh and i got this random position in a separated variable and the performance was literally the same one or super similar but well just to make sure that we are getting everything out from gd script then i've got here the different walls uh, that we are going to be using as well as the the two markers for the balls positions uh, I also have here the timer every 0 0.05 seconds. In this case, I will instantiate 5 volts. And then I got here a control node that the only thing I contain is a, an horizontal container that has here the current FPS and the time. Okay, by the way, here you can take a look at the, the UI script. It basically updates the FPS uh, and also it is. Uh, updating the the time you can check over here that i have no add-on installed and also in the project settings in the 2d physics as you can see i'm using the default physics engine um and also i will show you that i have no plugins installed okay so this is how we're going to be performing the test and we will see what happens so as soon as we start it seems that everything is working fine uh, and indeed we are getting super higher uh, FPS and also the, the behavior the behavior that we are getting is quite quite good we are not getting any kind of weird behavior um, so well now worlds, uh, bolts are super being stacked up and when we reach something like 22 uh, well everything starts to break as you can see they start trespassing the collisions uh, of the walls literally everything starts to be a complete mess in reality, this happens because of the way in which Godot calculates and uses physics, okay? That is a little bit different from, for example, Unity. But, well, uh, here comes the, the solution, okay, with Rapier. And, well, there are actually other physics engines that we can use. Um, so, here, uh, you can directly download, download it over here. You will find, actually, four versions. Uh, two for 2d and two for 3d you can be using both at the same time you first have to use 2d and then 3d if you want um basically if you want to use both of them um you can only have one of them installed at the same time in the same project so you have to make sure that you are deleting the previous version after installing the other one but in this case we are just going to be using the 2d physics of rapier um to be honest both versions are going to work just fine for this uh, quick example so i will just click on this one i will click download and i will give it uh, just a second i will install it and then it will ask me to restart the project so i'm going to do that and let's give it one second a second and now how to enable it by going to project project settings and here with advanced settings to the physics and here rapier 2d we will have to restart once again and now we're going to have this new physics engine inside of good Oat. so some stuff that you have to know about rapier okay i think that it is the best physics engine at least for 2d because we had like a also other plugin that was called box 2d um but as you can see it's currently unmaintained okay but it is actually by the by the exact same person as you can see 
I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but as you can check, it is the exact same creator. Oh, well, here it says that it is unmaintained, the repository is being archived. Um, oh, well, here he says that he's focusing more on Rapier right now. So this is the physics engine that he recommends uh, using. And well, just for you to know basic things is that um, this uses like two things, uh, Rapier and also uh, Salva, okay? So he first uses Rapier that, uh, as you can see, said 2D and 3D physics engine for the Rust programming language. So it's not actually meant for to be used in Groot. Oh, well, here the creator of the add-on somehow make this work, made this work in GD script and in Godot. And then we also have Salva. Uh, that basically it is other um, tool that you is used for uh, fluids, okay? When you want to create some kind of water or some kind of liquid, okay, with physics, well, this is uh, the situation in which Salva would be useful. So basically it combines these two tools that it seems to be Quite powerful not only did he merge the two of them but also made them work inside of growth which is quite interesting something that i couldn't really find the difference between the, the both versions like parallel s i m d and cross-platform determinism i couldn't find like exactly more information about this and as you can see here it doesn't say much um so you can also check here the implementation progress because this is basically the documentation, okay? Right now, we don't have much stuff over here. We do can get some more information about the exact features that it provides. Also here, some how to install the plugin, etc. By the way, here, it doesn't classically say which is the difference between these, these four versions. I couldn't really get it. Um, oh, well, here, he also is telling us, well, what things are available, what each version features in 2D and 3D, etc. So, well, this actually seems like a pretty interesting website that, well, as time goes by, it's going to be more and more filled in with things. Because as you can see, we have comments from literally four hours ago. So, he's really been dedicating a lot of time. Well, he, this is rapid, actually. Like, this is not the, the plugin. So, let me go back to the actual plugin. But you will see that in the it, it has, like, uh, comments from two, year, two, two hours ago. So, it is quite interesting. And as you can see, it's quite... A, uh, a new physics engine um, because as you can see we have July 11th so it doesn't have a super long journey so we can we may even be able to see in a couple of months how it starts uh, to become even better here we, we do see like older uh, comments but we see here that we have like a huge jump from November to March so I would say that he was only focusing for like the last maybe let's check uh since march until now so we will have something like four or five months so now yes uh, we can check once again that in the project settings we do have physics 2d set to use rapier and let's see what results we get this time so as it happened with without physics we start to get interesting results. Remember that without broke down at something like 20 ish, 25 ish, or something like that. Um, here we also see that we, we have no vibration like at the bottom of it as we used to have in without. Um, but as you can see here, we are getting still something like 600 FPS. We are close to 30 seconds, 500 FPS, quite constant. Oh, well, we can actually keep on doing this for, for a much longer time. Let's see how much time actually we can get if we compare it to Groot. Uh, yes, now we are, we are start dropping FPS, but let's see until we get less than 10. Uh, I would say something like 50 seconds. Yes, 50 seconds. Mm -hmm. Exactly, something like 53 seconds until we reach less than 10 FPS. Or even close to one minute. So indeed, the, the, the performance difference is just huge. We are talking about... Something like three, uh, three, three times longer we can survive or play with Rapier instead than with Godot. So indeed, this does give me lots of things to think about the Godot physics engine, at least the default behavior, okay? Um, so I really look forward to uh, reading your opinion in the comments down below. I will see you there. Bye-bye.